everyone, this is Rainer from Excitech and welcome to my quick overview video of what's new in SketchUp 2017. Okay, I'm going to jump straight in, so let's start off with the easiest ones first. Design tool updates, better snapping, better inferencing, and also the tool icons have changed. They're a little bit bigger and easier to work with. Well, with this release, they've made major improvements with the way SketchUp renders your models as well, so you should definitely see some performance improvements. And also this technology is now used for SketchUp, My SketchUp, uh, the SketchUp Mobile Viewer layout and the 3D warehouse. There's been some transparency improvements, so you can now adjust your X-ray mode. You'll now get better results with the offset tools. So there's no more overlapping or self-intersecting geometry. You can now also access lock your rectangles with your keyboard arrows, the same as with the circle and the polygon tools. So this means you can draw off axis by inferencing edges and surfaces. And just hold the shift button down to lock your square or golden section inferences. There's the new perpendicular to face inference for all the tools, so just hold down shift. There's some more support for the colorblind users, so uh, they've got the ability to now change the color of the axes. Uh, there's also a default new colorblind style that's been added, and this functionality is also uh, added to layout. They've closed a small process gap, so when you now convert a group to a component, you can specify all the same attributes as you would normally. So when you install SketchUp, you're also installing and using helpful stuff like material styles, components, uh, templates, and things like that. And in this release, they've just made it a little bit easier for you to get to those files. You can now create a Trimble account with any uh, email address, not just Google accounts. And finally, from a SketchUp side of things, 2017 will support Apple's Sierra operating system and also 32-bit support will be dropped. Okay, next up we've got the new features in Layout 2017. So first up, we're going to have a look at the new table command. You can create these tables from scratch or you can even import these tables from Excel. Exporting to DWG or DXF has also massively been improved. Previously a 10 page layout file would export as 10 separate drawings. Uh, now you'll just get one drawing with 10 separate layout tabs. In the old days, layout entities would explode into raw geometry in DWG exports. This was a pain to manage. Uh, nowadays, the style, the tables, the circles, everything else uh, will import smartly into applications like AutoCAD. They've added the color by layer option to layout export. So when you do opt to color by layer, all the entities given a layer will export as one color. The dimensions in layout is also a bit more flexible these days. So you can now drag the dimension to another spot in your layout page without disconnecting them from the associated entities. One of the best new features in Layout 2017 is definitely uh, the new selection method. By holding down the Alt key, you can override what you're gonna select and it will stop you from dragging viewports all over the place. Okay, next up is the new features on the extension warehouse in 2017. So uh, we've got the all new extension manager. Uh, this just helps you to keep track of all your extensions, just uh, where you can go and uninstall them and also load any updates. SketchUp 2017 will also give you a little warning that pops up in the bottom left hand corner of your screen to let you know if anything needs to be updated. Alright guys, and the final feature I'm going to highlight today is the 3D Warehouse in 2017. So again, they've updated the catalog browser, uh, they've improved the performance of the page load times, uh, also they've updated the, uh, the 3D Viewer, so the rendering pipeline is the same as with my SketchUp and SketchUp, the SketchUp Mobile Viewer, uh, and it, everything should just look better on screen. That's it guys, thanks for watching. If you need any more information, uh, just log on to the Excitech website. Uh, you'll also find our training courses there. So we do essentials and advanced training with also videos showing you what's covered in these training courses. Thanks again for watching.